Good day, students. You are going back to our class, mathematics class. Today will be the continuation of our geometry class, basically, plain geometry. If you can recall in our last class, we started this topic on plain geometry and we look at one of the theorem in plain geometry, which is sum of angles on a straight line will be equal to 180 degree. If you are any member on this, you can kindly check our previous class through the comment section below. And subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. Now, let's proceed. The second one we're going to talk about is called intersecting lines. When two lines cross over each other, we say they are intersecting. Let's look at this particular line. Let's call this line A, B, C, and D intersecting at this point O. When we have intersecting lines, two theorems can come from it. One, Vertically opposite angles of intersecting lines are equal. That is, angle A will equal to angle B. They are vertically opposite each other. If you do your hand this way, this one is facing the other side and this one is facing here. They are vertically opposite each other. The angle that is here must be here. We call it vertically opposite angles. Likewise, angle C will equal to angle D. Second theorem here is that sum of angles at a point is 360 degrees. When this line OA comes, line O, line OD is coming, this is D, this point O, other line is coming, let's say point A, other line is coming, point B, other one, point C. They meet here. When you put a point like this, that point is like a circle. It's a circle indeed. It's a circle. And sum of angles in a circle will equal to 360 degrees. Meaning, when you sum up any angles on this surface, we go to 360 degrees. That's why we say angle A plus B plus C plus D equals to 360 degrees. So let's look at the application of these intersecting lines. In solving questions. Example one, in the diagram, PQ and MN are straight lines. PQ, P, Q, and MN are straight lines. Find the value of X. On line PQ, we have the following angles. 2 in brackets s plus 30 degree and 86 degree. Now, when we look at this very well, we can solve this thing in two ways. Now, looking at this line PQ, we can see that we have two angles on the line PQ. These two very angles, this one, 2 in brackets. If we look at line PQ, you see we have two angles on it. 2 in bracket s plus 30 and 86 degree. And if you could recall, the first theorem we discussed is sum of angles on a straight line will equal 180 degree. That is the first thing to, that is the first way of solving it. But let's assume our mind did not go into that. When we look at this, we can see an intersecting line. We can say, okay, since this one is 2 in bracket s plus 30, likewise, the angle that is here must be here as well. Likewise, 86 degree must be here as well. So when we have the angle here and this one here, you can sum up everything together and equals to 360 degree. Sum of angles at a point. In that case, we can solve for our x. But let's look, up, let's look for the simplest one. That is the first one. That is 2 in bracket x in bracket x plus 30 degree plus 86 degree is equal to 180 degree what is the reason 
sum of angles on a line M N M N. Now we have put these brackets two times x we have two x plus two times thirty we have sixty degree plus eighty six degree so because one and eighty degree. So two x plus when you sum it up we are going to have one and forty six degree so because one and eighty degree. So I need the value of my x. I have to take one and forty six degree away because it doesn't contain x. So we have to collect like terms. 2x is equal to. When this is coming to this place, it should be at its back because it's coming to meet 180 degree. It won't be before it. So we have 180 degree minus 146 degree. So 2x is equal to. When you subtract this, we have 34 degree. Now, I have to find the value of my x. Then I have to divide both sides by 2. 2x is equal to 34 degree divided by 2 divided by 2. 2 here 1, 2 here 1. x is equal to 17 degree. Now, the value of x from here is 17. So you can calculate the whole angle here by saying 17 plus 30. That is 47 multiplied by 2. You get the value of angle MOQ. Example 2. Looking at this diagram, in the diagram, angle PTQ, angle PTQ is equal to S degree, then angle QTR, QTR, this angle this way, is two, is twice as big as angle PTQ, as this one. Meaning this one is two times angle PTQ. Meaning this one is 2x. Likewise, angle RTS, RTS is three times as big as angle PTQ. And PTQ is x. So this one is 3x. And angle PTS, PTS is four times as big as angle PTQ. So PTS is four times. Four times P. T, Q. That is 4, X. Now, having these angles, it will be called on our intersecting lines. Some of the angles on intersecting lines will equal to 360 degrees, meaning angles at a point. So when we sum it up, we have 2X plus X plus 4X plus 3X is equal to 360 degrees. What is the reason? Reason given to this one is what? Sum of angles at a point. Fine. Now let us sum it up. 2x plus x, we have 3x. 3x plus 4x, we have 7x. Plus 3x, we have 10x. It's equals to 360 degree. So I want to find the value of my x. So I have to divide both sides by 10. So we have 10x. It's equal to 360 degree divided by 10 divided by 10. 10 goes in 10. S equals to 0 goes in 0. We have 36 degree. Now, we are asked to find the value of angle RTS. Angle RTS. Therefore, angle RTS is equal to 3x. We have 3 multiplied by our x is 36 degree. So we multiply. We have eight, yeah. We have one hundred eight degree. So that's the value of angle R T S. Example three. Given these intersecting lines, what is the value of M in the diagram? So we want to find the value of M in this diagram. If you could recall from this one of the terms of the intersecting lines, vertically opposite angle are equal. So solution. We have 4m minus 15 degree is equal to m plus 75 degree. Let us collect like terms. Let the unknown be on the left hand side and the known to the right hand side. Let this one comes here and this one we move out. 4m minus m, we have 3m is equal to 
75 plus 15, we have zero here. That is 90 degrees. Now I want to find the value of my m. I have to divide both sides by 3. So we have 3m is equal to 90 degree divided by 3, divided by 3, 3 goes in 3. m is equal to 3 goes in 9, we have 30 degree. So the value of m is 30 degree, meaning the angle here must be equal to this angle here. Okay, let's check. We have 4m minus 15 will equal to 4 multiplied by our m is 30 degree minus 15. So here we have 120 degree minus 15. Take it away. What do we have? We have 105 degree. Now, next one, m plus 75 degree. So our m is 30 degree. 30 degree plus 75 degree. So we have 105 degree. You can see they are both equal to each other. That's basically opposite angle are equal. In the diagram, AOB is a straight line and AOD, AOD is equal to 3 in brackets S plus Y degree. Angle BOD, BOD is equal to 45 degree. Angle AOC, AOC is equal to 5S plus Y degree. And angle BOC, BOC is Y degree. Find the value of X and Y. Want to find the value of S and Y from our one of our theorem? When we look at this one, since angle AOB is an angle on a straight line, a straight line, definitely the two angles here they are angle on a straight line. The two angles here they are also angle on a straight line, on the same straight line AOB. Now we can say that we can say that three open bracket x plus y. Plus brackets plus 45 degree is equal to 180 degree. The reason sum of angles on line A O B on, straight, on that straight line. When we open this bracket, we have 3 times x, 3x plus 3 times y, 3y plus 45 degree is equal to 180 degree. Here, 3x plus 3y. It's equal to parallel like time here, 180 degree minus 45 degree. So we have 3x plus 3y is equal to, when you sub subtract this, we have 135 degree. Now, we have 3 x and 3 x here. Let's collect like terms. We have 3, open bracket, x plus y. It's equal to 135 degree. So 3 is common here, 3 is common here. You collect like terms. Take one of the 3 out. So I'm going to have x plus y in bracket equals to 135 degree. So let us divide both sides by this 3. 3 goes in 3. So here we have x plus y is equal to 3 here, 1. 3 here, so 3 goes in 13, we have 4, in 15 we have 5, 45 degrees, let's call it equation 1. Now, that's for last one. Now, on the reflex of line A or B, we are going to have 5x plus y, then plus y is equal to 180 degrees, sum of angles on line A, O, B. So we now have 5x plus y plus y, meaning 1 plus 1, that is 2. 2y two is equal to 180 degree. So from here, we can have that 5x plus 2y is equal to 180 degree equation 2. Now, from here, it has become a simultaneous equation. We have to solve for the value of our x and y. x plus y is equal to 45 degree. That's equation 1. 5x plus 2y is equal to 180 degree. That's equation 2. If you could recall from one of our classes, when we discussed on simultaneous equation, we talked about the elimination method and the substitution method. 
From here now, we can use the elevation method. I want to get the value of my x, so I will allow this y to have the same coefficients, but the signs to change. Okay, how? Let, let me multiply equation 1 by minus 2, so that this one will change to 2 as well, and the sign will change to negative. Multiply equation 1 by minus 2 and equation 2 by 1. Minus 2 times x, minus 2x, minus 2 times y, minus 2y. It's because of minus 2 times 45, minus 90 degree. 1 multiply by 5x, 5x, plus 1 times 2y, 2y is equal to 180 degree. Minus 2x plus 3 plus 5x, so we have 3x, minus 2 plus 2, this cancelled, so we now have minus 90 plus 180, so we have 90 degree. I need the value of my x now, I have to divide both sides by 3, so I have 3x, this equals to 90 degree, divided by 3, divided by 3, 3 cancelled 3, x is equals to 3 goes in 9, we have 3, that is 30 degree. So the value of my x is 30 degree. Now let me substitute for x in any of this equation, 1 or 2. Let's substitute into equation 1. My equation 1 remains x plus y is equal to 45. Anywhere I find x, I will insert this 30. So here I have 30 plus y is equal to 45 degree. Take this 30 degree to this point. So y will equal to 45 degree minus 30 degree. y equals to, we have... 15 degree. So when s is 30, 30 degree, our y equals to 15 degree. So this is uh, how to work out questions on intersecting lines. If you find this class very interesting, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent contents. Don't forget to comment and give a thumb up as you leave the channel. Thank you very much. We meet in the next class.